Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, our video number four in a series on how to put together a spur gear uh, set. Uh, this video is going to finish up sketching. We're going to put in our uh, our root, our base of our gear, and then we're going to put in our gear tooth and do a circular pattern of that tooth. And then in the next video, we're going to show you how to put it all together into an assembly and play around with some of the settings as we did in the very beginning. So let's go ahead and finish this. We're almost done with our sketching here. I put in some incorrect values up here, an extra 7 in our 0 .87, 0 .1875, so let's go ahead and uh, put in the right value there and get that fixed in case you're following along. So if you remember, we put in our first pitch point circle at the intersection of our uh, pitch diameter and that vertical line from there we drew out a first pitch point circle in the intersection of that and our base diameter, which is a circle from the very center of our uh, gear to our pressure line. At that intersection here, we drew in our second pitch point circle at the same diameter, and uh, we're going to draw the profile of the tooth. So we have that line up here. Uh, it's not a line, but it's an arc. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw an arc from that intersection here to the intersection down here where our pitch point is. Three point arc. And if you click on uh, that arc here and that arc here and migrate to the center of that, you'll get an intersection sketch relation. Let's go ahead and put that in. And let's snap that down into place. The end point of that uh, arc is going to be where the pitch point is. The second arc, the bottom of the tooth, this is the top of the tooth up here. That's our root to, or our outside diameter. This is our root diameter down here. We're going to exaggerate this a little bit. We're going to go from that pitch point down to our root diameter. From our root diameter, we're going to put a center line and go from that point down to the center of our gear. And before we do this, we want that to be tangent. We also want this to be tangent. It's very tempting to put this line on that uh, on that arc. And for some of your uh, examples, and everybody's got a different uh, example in this uh, assignment, uh, you might find it difficult. It might have difficulty resolving itself, or your gears may not mesh correctly. So let's follow this procedure. We're going to click on that arc, this arc, make that tangent. And then we're going to click on that arc and that line and make this tangent too. And that resolves itself. But, I'm going to delete that tangency here and put this arc on this side. Even though it's an arc and that's going down to the straight line to a line, even though it does, so we know it's uh, going to work. It will sometimes give you an error. If it does give you an error like that, what you want to do is just go ahead and delete that. Instead of exaggerating it out, out this way where the point is on the right hand side, let's exaggerate it this way and make sure the point is on the left hand side. If it doesn't work on the left hand side, do the right hand side. If it doesn't work on the right hand side, do the left hand side. And so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on that arc and this line again. Let's go to tangent. And now we're in pretty good shape. So you notice that this arc here is not uh, co radial with uh, the edge of the pitch point circle, the very first, or the second pitch point circle. Okay, we have the top profile, the top of the tooth, profile the bottom of the tooth. And remember our quarter angular circular pitch line that we put in here at 3.75 degrees. And you're going to have something that's different. And it's going to be different between the pinion gear and a gear wheel. We're going to use that as our mirror reference for those two entities. So let's click on those, those two arcs. Select those with the control key. Select on that center line and go to mirror. Puts it on the other side. Let's finish this up by putting an arc between that point and that point. Again, three point arc. From here to there. And if this doesn't resolve itself, and sometimes it doesn't, if you try to put that on that line, on that arc that exists, it may not work. And if it doesn't work, and sometimes it'll actually blow up and give you a very big arc that goes out maybe three or four times the size of the gear itself going on the, uh, in the opposite direction. Let's do this. Just get it kind of close like that and just take that second step and make these two arcs concentric with each other or co-radial. Both of those work. Alright, we have enclosed geometry for the base of our gear. We have enclosed geometry for our tooth. Let's go ahead and extrude these. So, select contours. Let's go to the, the base of the gear. Mid plane. Let's make that 0.05 inches. Green check mark. Let's borrow that sketch and get the, the profile of our tooth in order to do our tooth extrude. Let's do 0.04 inches for that. Midpoint, mid plane, select the contours, 
Let's look at our tooth at uh, the you know the tooth profile that we had there, green check mark. And now we're almost done. So make sure I have temporary axes turned on. So we can uh, select that axis because the next thing we're going to do is go to do a circular pattern. Our parameter is going to be that axis, that temporary axis right in the middle of our gear. Features to pattern is going to be this gear tooth. And yes, we want more than six. We want to make sure I have equal spacing. And depending on uh, the parameters that I gave you in the, the beginning of the assignment, I have 24 teeth in my pinion gear, so that's the value I'm going to put in there. So now you can see the preview of that if we click off to the side. And it uh, looks good to me. And we're going to go to green check mark. And there's our pinion gear. A couple things you might want to do to embellish your design. I'll show you how the, what that looks like in the next uh, video, and then we'll put this all together into an assembly and show you how it all comes together. But uh, one of the features you might want to do is put some sort of feature in here so you can actually see how the gear is moving or a handle that you use to move it. You also need to have a hole right in the middle and that hole is going to be have the same diameter as uh, perhaps a post you're going to be putting in on your base feature for your assembly. So go ahead and add those and I'll meet you in the next film.